Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have with me mindset and empowerment coach, Kiran Nyota from Nairobi, Kenya. Welcome Kiran. Thank you, it's so good to be here Pooja. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to have you here with me and I'm very, very excited and I'm looking forward to all the goodness that you have to share with me and with um, the viewers. So let me say a few words about you before we dive into our subject, which is going to be inner confidence. Kiran Nyota is a mindset and empowerment coach. Like I said, she works online. She does this full time and she works with women to help them reach or build inner confidence, to help them reach fulfillment and reach success at their own terms. And she has helped many women to transition from self-sabotage to finding clarity, to finding that deep connection with themselves. So diving into the subject now, Kiran, um, I'd love to know if you have always been very, very confident or how your journey has been and what has worked for you. Yeah, sure. Um, so actually, no, I wouldn't say I've always been super confident. Um, in fact, when I started this work and I started fo focusing on self-belief and confidence, I, was, I almost thought, am I the right person to be doing this on the basis that I wasn't always very confident um, I was always growing up, I was shy, um, always very quiet, and it, it was a bit of a journey for me to, to reach, to find what confidence looks like for me. Um, but then I kind of decided that's exactly why I want to be doing this work, because if I've been able to, to find the confidence to go after what I want and, my, and success and fulfillment on my own terms, I want the same for, for other women um, because I do know it's something you can learn. It's definitely not something which is inherently there for everybody. It's something that you can work on and definitely... Uh, Okay, wonderful. And um, I'm sure you're helping many. You're making such a huge difference. And it's really wonderful to, to hear that, you know, it comes from your experience and that makes it even more um, special because you've been through a journey and then you're sharing what you've learned uh, along the journey. Um, so just before we talk a little more about this, I'd like to let everybody know that I've put the links uh, to um, Kiran's Instagram profile in the description box below. I've also put the link to her website so you can get in touch with her directly if um, you want to ask anything or if you want to see what she has to offer. And uh, also we have done an Instagram live together. So you have a, a longer version of this conversation on my Instagram handle and I'll put the link to that in the description box below as well. Okay, coming back to confidence. Um, you have a free uh, roadmap to inner confidence, which I was uh, lucky enough to get. Thank you for that. Um, and in that, you mentioned something about accepting yourself just as you are right where you are uh, to, to connect to that authentic confidence. So what do you mean by authentic confidence? Because this Authentic confidence is different when we say it that way. It's not just confidence from the outside. What is authentic mm -hmm. confidence? Yeah, you've, you've touched right on it, that it's not just looking confident. It's really finding, because your confidence is that power in yourself and that belief in yourself to go after what you want um, and to make it happen and believe it's going to happen, to not give up before, before you get there. And it has to come from within. Otherwise, if it's not authentic, if it's not true to yourself, then you're not going to get the results that you're looking for. You're not going to, because if you have this idea that, oh, if I, if I seem more confident, if I look more confident, then, then I'm going to um, reach that success that I'm looking for. It really has to be true to you. And um, we have so many assumptions. We watch other people who are, um, who are successful and we think I need to do exactly what she's doing um, to be confident. And actually that's not the case at all. 
she's doing what works for her what you have to do is what works for you and to do that you have to know yourself and find that confidence and what it looks like for yourself um so my own example for instance is that i'm not the loudest um person so my confidence is never going to be about being the loudest person in the room my own confidence is is more quiet is a bit more has been more in the back end but now even when i am putting myself forward um it's okay to be exactly as i am and have exact embody exactly my energy and my most confident self i don't have to mimic or try to be like somebody else in order to be confident and that, that's so important to to connect to that inner power um and and letting go of that constant need to present yourself in a certain way because of what you've seen or or because of other people's expectation expectations um so letting go of those labels that you want to put forth and instead connecting to what really resonates with your true nature um that that's very very interesting and and it you know these are small reminders we might have heard them before but along the way sometimes we tend to get caught up in what we see around us so these these can what you've just said your words can be like a small reminder for everybody who's watching here um and um yeah, and i mean it's a bit deeper than that yeah i'm <laughs> sorry i was just going to say it's a bit deep i think the mistake a lot of people make is they think that um you know that mindset no need to apologize sorry <laughs> they think that um mindset is is once you hear something and you're reminded of it it's done but it's the same as working out you have to actually put the work in um to see the results so it's not about just saying like oh i've heard this reminder especially because now um information about like there's a, so much motivational inspirational content being coming out and we think if we keep hearing it it's enough but you actually have to do the work on your mindset and actually start living in a way that aligns with the mindset that you want in order to actually see results it's not just about like once you hear it that's fine you have to keep coming back to it and that's so true just like anything else in life you know mm -hmm. there there needs to be a certain amount of work that you put in um but knowing why why you want to do it is is a great place to start knowing alignment is is a wonderful word you've used stay aligned with what feels right for you from the inside and put in that little work every day and take take it as a journey right uh, you're on a journey it it's step by step and um you'll build that confidence on the way um and also you 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 spoke about thoughts and um this brings me back to your your work you're a mindset coach and it's it's different it's a different approach to see uh, you know to see it like that instead of just saying life coach or um wellness coach which we hear a lot nowadays mm -hmm. so it would you like to share a little bit about how you work and um what a mindset coach would would do and how it would help someone yeah sure so i think um i see mindset as your perception of life so it's your it's everything from your beliefs to your identity to you. so i mean it starts with your actions your thoughts but then it goes a lot deeper towards the beliefs identity um why you're doing what you're doing and that perception is really your quality of life or how you're able to show up so i work with with women primarily to to really uncover their process to kind of to figure out what give them the clarity of the direction they want to go in but also help them work on their those limiting beliefs or those blocks they have at an identity level to kind so that they can show up in a more empowered way because this confidence this power it's already inherent in you it's kind of 
uncovering it, kind of working on the various layers which are blocking you and stopping you from being who you want to be. And a lot of the time it's because we have these subconscious hangups from maybe from when we were children or, or other experiences we've gone through which have made us think in a way which is limiting us. Um, and we can be doing so much more. So it's just a process of, of working through all those things so that you can show up as the empowered woman you're, you were born to be. <laughs> That, that's wonderful and that's a reminder for everyone these words that Kiran just shared are very very powerful because it's it's a reminder to say that you are we are all special and unique in our own uh, ways so it's just a matter of reconnecting to that uniqueness that is within you and 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 accepting it um, and bringing it forth and, and bringing it to the table, like I like to say. Um, also the labels that, you know, the conditioning that you spoke about is, is such, a, such a big thing. Um, we are conditioned literally um, by society or by education, by culture, to think that this a certain way is the right way. Um, but again, does it resonate with your true nature? Is it really um, aligned with um, your belief um, and, and, and it's good to spend a bit of time with yourself to ask these questions to yourself write them down if that helps you and then uh, live each day each moment in alignment or tuned in to those um, to that self or, or inner uh, truth uh, yeah I mean connection is such a big part of all this work because it's really when you're able to connect deeply with yourself that you're able to connect with everything else, either what you're doing or other people. It really, if you're grounded and centered, if you know who you are, then you can start to learn how you serve and you're able to, to show up. But really, we think that the answer is outside of us and that we, we go on these, um, we decide I'm not going to be able to do this unless I've I've done this qualification or unless I've, I don't know, um, got this partner or achieved this. And we, we put so many external validators, but they're actually taking away from our power because if we're more connected to the inner power, those, those things are just nice add-ons, um, but they're not, they're not what's validating us in a sense. Right, that, that's so true. And uh, you have a free roadmap to inner confidence. Um, mm -hmm. Would you like to say a little more about that? And uh, again, to all the viewers, you can contact Kiran directly on her Instagram and uh, she'll be happy to share this uh, roadmap to inner confidence, which is, I think I read it and reread it. And I think, you know, it's short, but it's, it's powerful. It just makes you think a little more about how you want to approach this journey or how you want to step into it. Um, so just to close our conversation, would you like to say a little more about your uh, roadmap to inner confidence or anything else that you do and that you have to offer to the viewers? Yeah, sure. So um, yeah, this, this workbook is quite close to my heart. I, I put it together to kind of exactly what we were talking about rather, rather than going outward and thinking like, oh, what is it going to take for me to look confident? It's just um, it's just five steps to really connect with yourself and how you're showing up and to work through to kind of immediately feel more confident because you're able to, to get curious about what is holding you back. And it goes from embodying your confidence to letting go of what other people think, because I think that's quite a, a big one for us these days, um, to, to letting yourself make mistakes and just various steps to, to be able to show up as more confident. Um, source, which is accessible to everybody, which is why I put, I made this roadmap and it's, it's in the link to my Instagram, um, in my Instagram bio, so anybody can access it. But of course, I also work um, with women in one-on-one -on -one sessions if you're feeling 
that actually there's more resistance there and it's it's going to be helpful to to work with someone my own experience was that coaching was so powerful for me it really helped me access um parts of myself which I wasn't being able to access on my own even though I was doing a lot of inner work so just being able to work with someone made me like I I loved it so much that it ended up becoming my own path I was like I want to offer this to other people as well um so yeah do do reach out if if that would uh be of interest to you but I I do think that our mindset is something that we should all be constantly working on because um even if it's not with me but just on your own it's it's your perception it's the quality of your life so it's it's worth investing in it it's the thing we kind of put on the back burner sometimes with everything else we've got going on but actually it kind of infuses everything how we show up so it's it's definitely worth um looking into I love what you what, what you just said. First of all, I love that it's five steps. It's right there in front of you and you can go step by step. And then I love what you said about your perception infusing everything that you do. And in this fast paced life that we are all living, there are constantly things to achieve or, you know, or that we think we need to achieve on a day-to-day -day basis. Okay, you know what? I have this to take off my list. I have these responsibilities, but how, how are you doing that? Okay, what, what is the mindset you have while doing it? Is it with the mindset of, oh my God, I have to do this again, or oh my God, I have to wake up early again, mm -hmm. or are you approaching that with the mindset that that is happening for you and it's not happening to you you know it's um it's you have chosen this you want to do it and you're doing it because you know why you're doing it right um, again knowing the why is such an important thing and if you approach everything that you're doing with that mindset of yes i know why i'm doing this and i'm going to go to the end of this belief then everything will change. I love what you just said about infusing um, everything that you do through your mindset. It, that, that's just beautiful. Thank you very much, uh, Kiran, for sharing all this. Um, right, so thank you everybody for watching this. Um, I'm sure you have uh, learned a lot from this. Again, do follow us on Instagram. You'll find the, the longer version of this conversation and this chat on my Instagram, IGTV. Um, and again, the links to um, Kiran's website and Instagram handle are in the description box below. Thank you again, Kiran. And I hope to have more chats like this with you, right? It's wonderful. Thank you so much, Pooja. Thank you.